guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today I'm covering Gallery Girls, Season 1, Episode 6, Who Loves the Sun? Oh, you guys, it's Art Basel time. I so remember this. I love this. I can't wait to talk about it. Let's get into it. Hey guys, I just want to take a second and say if you're enjoying this show, please check out my Patreon. Go to patreon.com, search Real Housewives Recaps, or check the comments below and I'll put a link. And for a dollar a week, you can support my show and get four bonus episodes per month. I'm covering Scary Island, like the greatest season of Real Housewives in New York. So check it out. Thanks so much. So we start out at Sushi Samba. And if you're a Sex in the City fan like I am, it makes me laugh. Because I think it's Samantha with the Sushi Samba. It's Liz and her mom, Anne. And they're just catching up and talking about Art Basel coming up. And it leads into conversation about her dad. Uh, of course, her parents have split. And her dad... She says her dad supports her because she's his child, but he isn't affectionate or loving in any way. If you remember, she had a problem, uh, I believe she said it was cocaine, and had to go to rehab, and ever since then, her dad has, has been different toward her. Then we go over to Susan's office, and remember, she has Amy and Carrie interning for her. Now, if you remember in the last episode, Amy had the balls to hand carry all this handwritten notes of stuff that she needs to do, which is actually stuff that Susan asked Amy to do. So Amy has her in her office, and she's like, uh, I want to see how you thought it was going. Amy says, it's a learning experience that helps me build where I need to be. Susan says, Amy, I got a list from Carrie, and she explained all the tasks I had given to you got delegated to her, and that just doesn't sit well. I'm confused by it. Amy says, I don't even remember what those things were, so I do apologize. Oh, Amy. Oh, what a bad excuse. In the last episode, she was saying, I think Susan will be happy that I delegated things. And now she's backtracking, saying, I don't even remember what I said. And then uh, Susan said, listen, there isn't a hierarchy here. So the fact that it happened, I'm disappointed. Amy says, I'm truly sorry. I guess she took it too seriously. Oh, Amy. Oh, you're making it worse. Just cop to it. Own it. Tell her where your head was at. Don't do this. Susan's pissed and says, I'm really uncomfortable. I don't think this is going to work out. And Amy says, you didn't take the time to get to know me. I'm really sad about that. And Susan says, I feel like I've gotten to know you. Things don't always work out. Best of luck. Amy to camera says, she basically told me she didn't like me because of my personality. That's what hurts the most. I don't think Amy's learned her lesson from this. She's taking the wrong thing away from this. Ugh, Amy. So then we go to Maggie's apartment in Murray Hill. She and Ryan are getting ready. They're going to go to Eli's apartment, which she is not excited about. Then we see Liz getting ready. All these people are getting ready. Eli hosts this party, and Liz says... What I've heard is Eli likes to show off his apartment. That's why he's having an early Art Basel party. Kill me. That's what she says. So we go over to Eli's apartment. It's a pre-Art Basel party. And David, his brother, is there. We see, I mean, everybody's there. Liz, Maggie, their boyfriends, um, all his eccentric friends here. And uh, they're just, they're having a pre-art Basel party so he can show off his apartment. So here's his apartment. They're all checking out the artwork and, oh man, who does he remind me of? He reminds me of the, is it the Adams Family? Anyway, okay, moving on. So Angela arrives and she is talking to Eli about her photography and he says uh, she has potential to be a very good artist and that makes her feel good. We see Claudia and Chantal arrive. They walk in. Liz says, I'm sorry I got distracted by Dumb and Dumber. Liz is just kind of hateful to everybody. I mean, they are kind of, they're all kind of bitches. But Liz says, I wanted to invite Angela to this breakfast, but those bitches are standing there. Of course, talking about Chantal and Claudia. 
So Liz calls Angela over, away from the other girls, and invites them to breakfast at her dad's warehouse in Miami. And Angela says, I was really surprised she invited me. She didn't invite Chantal or Claudia. Well, this didn't sit well. Uh, Chantal says, she called you over and invited you to something when you were in conversation with two others? Claudia says, she might as well yelled it across the room. Claudia, you aren't invited. So, of course, Angela feels weird because she does want to go to the breakfast, but she feels weird because the other two aren't invited and, you know, she's friends with them, the Brooklyn girls. We go over to Amy's apartment. She's saying working for Sharon was a learning experience for me. I'm done interning. <laughs> and she's up with Jane, who is Andy Warhol's muse. Jane used to do some modeling and she was Andy Warhol's muse. We've seen her in other episodes. Well, she brings along Claudia and Angela as well. Amy reveals she went on a date with Eli two years ago. She said that they kissed and it was nothing more. Uh, Claudia seems to think that they hooked up. They all start talking about Miami. Amy says, listen, I can make help you make an Art Basel pop-up gallery. And Angela wants to bring her photos down and kind of make that an event as well. Claudia says, I'm just not sure that I should include Amy in this. But Amy, of course, doesn't have this job, so she's super eager to help. They end up at the Brandt Foundation where they, it's a foundation to promote great artists. Then we see this. This stuff scares the piss out of me. I love art, but these are wolf heads. That's what they say. So I just had to show you that. Okay. So Amy says, I want to convince Angela and Claudia to do a collaboration and to bring it to Miami. Then we go to end of century and my heart skips a beat because I love these scenes. So Claudia is walking in and Chantal is there. Claudia to camera says, I'm interested in doing a pop-up in Miami. Chantal is interested in going down to the beach and having fun. Claudia is saying, so in Miami, I think it'd be great if we went down and pulled something off down there. And Chantal says, well, if we're going to do something, I'd want it to be more than us trying to bring things down that are beachy and trying to sell them. Claudia says, if we don't sell anything, no sweat off our back, whatever, we brought stuff down that would be sitting in the back anyway. Chantal says, but we need to get it there. Claudia is thinking garment bag. Chantal says, listen, it's a lot of stuff. I don't think you know what it takes to set up a store. Ooh. Claudia says, uh, I think I do because I just set one up. Chantal says, actually, Laura and I did it. Many nights you weren't here. Well, this pisses Claudia right off. And I don't, I think they were both wrong here, but from what we've seen, Claudia is way more of a hard worker and stress router. Then Chantal is. We saw Claudia clean up the day after the party. Chantal wanders in at like 1230 with her boyfriend. was like, yeah, I got to leave soon. So I don't think Chantal's making that much of an argument for herself. So Claudia says, so now I didn't help set up EOC. And Chantal says, no. Claudia says, perfect. Well, I'm going to Google and take some notes and try to figure out how to do this. So Chantal's point is... Uh, I don't think I want to be a part of this. I just want to go to Miami and relax. And Claudia's point is, uh, we're struggling. This is our business. We're going to a business event. So we definitely see some friction here. We go over to Carrie. She's on Long Island with her family. She's meeting up with them. She says when she gets overwhelmed, she needs to go home to be able to relax. So she talks to her aunt, her grandma, her mom, her cousin, talking about her apartment. She loves that apartment. Um, She's going down to Art Basel with her boss, Tony, for her full-time job, but her intern leader, Sharon, is going to be there, and she doesn't want to let anybody down. She doesn't want to do less than a perfect job, so it's interesting to see that work ethic as opposed to everybody else's. They were at Chantal's apartment. She is packing for Miami. She says, Claudia surprised me with her idea to do the pop-up gallery at Basel. I really just want to go enjoy the scene in Miami and party. Everyone's packing. Angela's excited to show artwork at the pop-up. Um, they're saying they're not sure how they're going to pull this off. Then we go over to Miami. So they're there, and Claudia says, You can tell that we aren't part of the local flavor. 
Uh, Chantal says, I want to relax. I don't want anything to do with Claudia's pop-up. She's kind of being a bitch about it all. Claudia says, we have to do it. Um, we don't want to look bad, because I guess they've already started telling people. And Angela is saying, well, we know Amy, and Amy could really help us with this. And Cla uh, Chantal just keeps saying we should call it off. But Chantal just seems like she's setting it up for failure. Just so she could say, I told you so, if it doesn't work out. So then we see Sharon walking around with Carrie at the actual art event. And they're talking about the scale of the art is incredible. And Sharon ends up telling her, listen, I had a talk with Amy. Uh, it was about her performance. I just, I don't think it was the right fit for her. And I wanted you to know because I don't want, I don't know how she's going to react. And I don't want you to get in the middle of it. And Carrie says, I feel bad for Amy. Maybe she'll grow up. So then we go to the Duncan Quinn event. Amy's super excited to be in Miami. Amy walks in with Steve and her friend and says hi to Liz and Maggie. Liz says, at this point, I'm going to be nice to Amy. I have some sort of heart deep in there. Carrie walks in and Amy starts talking about her day. Well, Carrie says, Amy's acting like nothing happened between her and Sharon. I feel bad for Amy. She's really nice, but I don't want to rub salt in any wounds. She's nice, and, and I'm just going to let it go. Chantal is still complaining about this damn pop-up, saying it's not the vacation I hope for since we're going to be going ahead with the pop-up. But I decided to put on a good face and blame Claudia when it fails. Really nice, huh? So the Brooklyn girls are talking, and Angela spots Eli. They go over to say hi. And Eli heard about the show that they were having, this pop-up show. Angela says it's with Amy. Do you know Amy? You've met her before. And he gets real weird, and he takes off. So obviously something happened with him and Amy. But they, we saw that other scene where she brought cupcakes, and it didn't seem weird. So I don't, they're trying to play it up. We go over to this huge yellow house. It's so yellow. It's Amy's. Um, it's her family's house. Chantal, Claudia, Angela come over. There's art everywhere. They end up going... <laughs> look at this picture of Amy. They go sit by the pool. Claudia is smoking a cigar. Uh, Amy's saying that she found some locations. Chantal says to camera, I'm warming to the idea of a pop-up. I swear I'm going to make a drinking game at how many times they say pop-up. Uh, Amy's arranging locations so I can be there to help out. <laughs> so Amy's got two locations. One's a restaurant and one's a 4,000 square foot space. So she's really coming through trying to help them. So back at the art event, we see Maggie and Liz walking around. They meet up with Eli and he has them sit at some table, I guess, to talk to people about his art gallery. And they are so less than enthused about it. Eli tells Liz that he saw her dad, and her dad's really proud of her, and she's surprised. She said, well, he doesn't want me to screw up again, so he really doesn't give me many compliments. So she's shocked to hear that he's talking nice about her when she's not around. Then we go check out this place that Amy has arranged as a possible location for their event. This is a friend of the family studio. They walk around. The girls have zero budget. So they really don't have a place to complain. I will say I am not a fan of this lady's art. It's a lot going on, but it's a nice space. And they're just like, I don't know. So they head over to the other potential space, this Caffeina Lounge. It's a cool place. They seem to really like it. The owner, Yvette, comes over and she's so nice. She's offering a space outside for Saturday night. Um... They do a huge art walk around there, and this would be in the path. So it would draw a huge crowd. And they're asking her these insane questions like, do you have tables? Do you have lighting? Like, they can't, they're not doing anything for themselves. It, they're expecting this owner to do this for him. And it's just insane, the entitlement going on with these girls. It's ridiculous. I am with Claudia and that they probably should do an art event, but it's wild that they give it zero thought. Then we go over to Liz's dad's collection. So basically she explains he was a builder in Miami that started investing in art. So 
He has this huge space for his collection that he opens up to the public for Art Basel every year. He loves the art, and that's why he collects. He never sells anything. He just collects it. And he's super happy when he talks about the art. It is interesting to see. He's excited when he talks to her about it, uh, but he's just not really interested in her, it sounds like. So she's, you know, there's definitely tension there. So he comes out, and he's talking about what a good installation it is and how happy they are with how it turned out. Liz is asking him to dinner, and Dad says, well, we'll have to talk about it. Liz to camera says, it makes me sad. My dad and I don't have a relationship. So it's, it's kind of heartbreaking to see. Over to Maggie and her boyfriend. She's showing him around the different pieces of art. She said she's always drawn to neon lights. And it's revealed that her dad had a patent on the chemical that helps make neon lights. So that's interesting. And that explains where all the money came from. So then we're back to Liz, who's hanging out with her boyfriend and with Maggie and her boyfriend. And, you know, they're at her dad's gallery. Well, Chantal, Angela, and Claudia walk in. And Liz is saying, oh my gosh, I didn't even invite them. They come in here and they don't even say hello. And they're making fun of what they're wearing and that Angela has a turban on and what Claudia is wearing with this hat and... It's just, it's so weird. So the Brooklyn girls won't go say hi to her, and she's not saying hi to them. And it's Liz is saying it's so rude. Uh, Claudia says, wow, we come in to say hi, and she walks away. Your dad can buy all this art, and you can't even dress yourself? Wow. So they're both snobs. They're all snobs. It's just, it's a whole thing. So they're, both groups are pissed at each other, and they're all acting like children. And it's kind of fun to watch. So then we get a flash to the next episode. So it starts off with Chantal, her boyfriend, and Angela in bed together, which makes her boyfriend very happy. Uh, Amy comes through in a huge way. She arranges these walls to be put up in this crazy tent and these lights, and still nobody's happy. Even Amy's, like, trying to drag people into the tent. She's the only one trying, and nobody else is. They're pouting see bitchy Liz striking again this time it's against Maggie and her boyfriend who she's pissed at because they got really drunk apparently she's calling them animals and that doesn't really sit well with Maggie so they're having a confrontation about that some news comes through to Amy about her apartment apparently her dad has sold it so she's gonna have to figure out something there that should be interesting and then we see a turnoff notice in effect so we see Claudia crying and I feel for her but did you make any money in Art Basel? Why did you go to Miami if it's that dire? I don't understand. So that is it for the episode. Such a good show. I love talking about this. It's so much fun to rewatch this stuff. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Leave me a comment down below. I love to read them. I read them all. And you can find me on here. You can also find me on Twitter at Real Recaps. And I thank you for all the wonderful comments and the thumbs up. That really helps move my channel along. And check out my other shows. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.